This is Dennis Davis. Dennis Davis is the number one fan of a case called the Revolver Case, and his Twitter lately has become a sort of live commentary on it. Why? Well, because the Revolver Case has been busy going to the literal moon. Actually, not the literal moon, it's the metaphorical moon. Anyway, I've got a long history with this case myself. In 2016, I bought 2,000 of them for three cents each, telling my friends they will be worth one dollar one day. If only they could see me now from the, the windows of the high-rise buildings where they work as solicitors. But anyway, why is the revolver case getting so expensive? For a long time, this case was considered garbage. It was removed very quickly from the active drop pool by Valve because it was unpopular, and then it was a drop on non-prime accounts for ages. It was very common, not many people liked them, and for years it was considered to be one of CSGO's biggest duds of a case. Until now. And its meteoric rise has been so dramatic, it's led to fights on Twitter. Not that it takes much to cause a fight on Twitter, but for a CSGO case, that is still an impressive accomplishment. And given the causes of this are so controversial, people literally getting into arguments over it, I think it's worth having a look why. So there are a few factors at play. The Revolver case, firstly, is still the cheapest way to try and unbox the OG knives. Cases with the OG knives are old, they haven't dropped in ages, and even after this price increase, the revolver case is still by far the cheapest way of getting them. And while a lot of the knives in these cases kind of suck, there is some good stuff. For example, the legendary 387 Karambit Case Hardened. Now, you'd have to be mad to seriously try and unbox one, but that's where a man called Felix comes into it. Felix tried to unbox one, and he got damn close. There were news articles about this, and importantly, he used revolver cases. And this led to some people arguing that XQC had played a major role in pumping the case. But had he really? Well, the truth is, the kind of price inflation the revolver case experienced immediately after XQC opened that case isn't really unusual for cases. You'll find a lot of similar examples over the years. Does that mean XQC wasn't the cause of this particular movement? No, he easily could have been. In fact, there's some evidence people might have started opening this case more after Duck Felix unboxed that knife, so he probably did play a role. But the case didn't stop after people forgot about the XQC event. It kept on going week after week, very dramatically. And the truth is, there's probably not a rational reason behind this. Instead, it's probably FOMO. The case market as a whole is going up in price. The whole thing is experiencing a massive hype. And in that context, it's not too hard to see how the price of the revolver case is snowballing, particularly if someone lit the fuse. And at the end of the day, revolver cases were pretty cheap until recently. They are a visually attractive investment. It looks like they've got a lot more potential than something that's already $5. But of course, this didn't start when XQC started opening revolver cases. It goes back much further. Ever since early 2021, the revolver case has been creeping up. This is just the acceleration of something that's been going on for a long time. Obviously, this kind of kicked off when the case stopped being dropped for non-prime accounts, but over time, it has gradually picked up steam. And while all cases have done this to some extent over the same time period, I think the Revolver case's relatively strong performance might have been helped by one particularly goofy goober. That's Onapixel, the breakout streamer. He really likes the Revolver case, apparently people keep giving them to him, and he keeps opening them. They are a favourite of his, and frankly, he probably brought a lot of attention to a partly forgotten case for quite a long period of time, and that definitely wouldn't have hurt either. Now, you might notice that nothing is definitive in this video, and that is by design. It's not possible to know exactly what factors have what role at what time, but we can identify five or six broad factors that have played into things, and putting them together, you do get a good impression of what's going on. If you wanted an overall takeaway, what I would say is that the Revolver case kind of shows how patient investors tend to be rewarded. Most people who've done well with Revolver cases haven't done well because of foresight. They didn't predict on a pixel and XQC, but what they have done well is being patient and waiting. And in many fields of investment, that can be an important quality. 